I'm in the bigger version of, of some parts of East Berlin, you know, uh, and uh, it made me realize, uh, you know, it's, to me it's, it's strange. I feel more familiar with what I know so far from Russia than with America, for example. Very strange. Because, but maybe it's because I grew up in Berlin, you know, and it's so pleasant. I think uh, Russia is more Europe than uh, West. So, well, brother, <laughs> um, what have you prepared for us for today? Uh, just uh, I brought a lot of uh, music with me, you know, a lot of unreleased stuff. I uh, just finished a remix for Iron X, I don't know if you know the Of course. Yeah. And uh, of course I'm going to play this, I guess, the premiere. <laughs> Stuff like that. You know, when I DJ, I play a lot of music that I do. For example, when I, when I produce other bands or I work with other bands on, uh, on collaborations, I do always my own tracks for, the, for DJing. You know, for example, I have just beats on certain drums or the vocal tracks. And this gives me the way to just not just play records, but I, you know, I can play music that people have not heard before. Yeah, always exciting. Uh, will you use any unusual effects on um, your music? I, I mean, very often. I mean, you know, I scratch a lot. It, it depends on what kind of mood I am. Um, I do really crazy fades. I uh, the way you know, I'm not so much into beat matching. To, to me, that's kind of like a boring technique that also you can do automatically with the machine these days. So to me, it's, it's more about like creating like a complex mix where people also you, you see the way I listen to music. I skip a lot of things and, and listen to music in different tempos all the time, and I, I really apply that in my DJ set, which some DJs find really strange because I would if I feel that something is getting flat and boring, you know how like DJs try to create that ongoing one beat to me that's kind of boring thing. <laughs> so I always break that up and develop my own technique.